Now, the narrative of addiction usually works in the same way. The beginning of the narrative is generally pretty predictable. It's a narrative of control. The trouble starts to show up in the middle. And then what the narrative starts to get stuck on the re-words. If any of you are alcoholics or pastors who use the literature of AA, you may know the prayer book of AA. In the prayers for June, in the AA prayer book, um, the prayers are about the re-words. And there's where the narrative is in breach. Huh? So you hear remembrances of regrets. Remembrances of regrets. And then remorse. And then you hear stories of rehearsals of retaliation and revenge. Re, 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 re. The narrative keeps circling back, circling back, circling back. It's broken, it's stuck, it's in the same groove, and it won't get out. That's the bondage of the will. If you ever want to see it right in front of you, there it is. Remembering remorse. Remembering with regret, remorse. Rehearsing, rehearsing images of retaliation and revenge against those who hurt me. I mean, wretched, captive, sick, bound, and dead. There it is, unable to detach. Now, Luther used to, Luther in the small called articles describes this in a beautiful phrase. He calls this always doing penance without ever coming to repentance. Always doing penance without ever coming to repentance. Mm -hmm.